So this will just be a quick video uh, on the current programming of the uh, stabilization system. Um, right now we have um, proportional control on both the tilt axes and proportional control of the roll rate on the vertical axis. So let me go ahead and turn the system on. Right now I've just got the some popsicle sticks on the canard so they're a little bit easier to see. When I turn the system on, uh, one thing that'll happen is they'll initially just go to, to a center position that's being uh, generated by the UDB5 board. So the Raven that I'm using is, uh, you can hear that in the background, and if I wanted to do so, I could have the Raven turn on the system. So initially uh, in launch, it would be centered this way. And then at some point in time, the, uh, this would not be doing any controlling. And then at some point in time, the controller would kick on. So let me go ahead and set the camera down and turn the system on. Manually. Okay, so now control is active. So as you might imagine, uh, when you turn the airframe, the canards will respond to that tilt and uh, both sets of opposing canards will do that. But the interesting part is on roll control, uh, it's mixed so that in addition to controlling the tilt axis, uh, all four canards will also respond to control roll and that's on uh, proportional control on the roll rate. So as I turn the system, you can see the, hopefully see the response of the servos basically trying to resist roll, but then as soon as you stop roll, they return to their upright position. So they're not going to try to turn to a specific orientation. They're just going to try to resist whatever roll uh, is going on and slow it down. And because it's mixed, if the servos were at a, or if the rocket was at an angle, the servos would still be trying to control roll regardless of the orientation of the rocket. So that is the uh, current configuration and we'll see how it works on the next flight.